Hey, so uh, I did the GameMaker 48 uh, game jam just last weekend, and this is what you're uh, seeing right now is the time lapse of what I did. Um, I'll probably have some more footage of me actually playing the game at the end of it, um, possibly some of my brother playing. Um, but yeah, this is the first game jam that I've ever participated in, and I think it went, well, kind of all right. Uh, it didn't, I wasn't really sure what I was expecting at the end of it, but I think it actually went pretty well considering the time that I had and that I've never actually finished a game before. So, yeah, this is all pretty cool. Uh, the time lapse is coming to a close, so uh, now we're going to get to some gameplay. Okay, hello, and uh, yeah, welcome to my game. Uh, this menu screen is just pretty much to uh, get you into it all. Just as the five enemies, pretty straightforward. Um, and then once you get all five of them, it gets straight into the game. Okay, so wave one just introduces the basic enemy type, which are just runners. Um, and there's just like five of them just to get you into the feel of the game. Okay, so uh, now, as you can see here, we've gotten into the uh, part of the game that could probably have used some work. Uh, searching for enemies. It takes up, unfortunately, most of the end of each round, because once you get the one guy in the room, unless he decides to uh, aggro on you, which runners don't, which is what this level is, uh, you have to go find them. So that's what this fun stuff is. Probably should have added like an indicator of where the last guy is, but I wasn't really thinking about it, and I actually haven't ever tried to play through it yet until just now, so that's what we have at the moment. Okay, so now that Wave 2 has started, you're going to notice that I have a different weapon. Um, I added several different weapons in this game, um, and as you saw, that has a little uh, reload animation. I wouldn't really call it an animation, but this one's a pistol, and so it has six shots. You can reload uh, before it runs out of the full clip, or you can just wait for uh, the clip to go all the way down, and it'll automatically reload, reload for you. Um, yeah, I tried to implement a system that would allow me to create tons of different weapons without really having to try too much, but I ended up not really having enough time or really the creativity to come up with a, quite as many f f weird and stupid guns as I could. Uh, but I have a few, and so uh, yeah, this one shows you the pistol, and basically it's trying to get you like prepared for having weirder guns uh, towards the end of the game. Okay, so the title of this level is Watch Out, because this is the first time that I uh, introduce a enemy that can actually kill you. Um, and I'm going to start by showing you what happens when you die. I guess this nice little loading screen. And then you can choose to either restart the level, which I've just done, or you can restart the entire game if you've decided you want to go back to the uh, easier challenges. Um, and so these guys take three hits, and one cool thing... He just blocked my bullet, actually. Um, yes, when enemies' attacks collide with your attacks, they both damage each other, and you can actually shoot their bullets, and they can uh, slice yours, as you've just seen. That was actually a complete accident, but uh, it's cool that I actually got to show that feature off. Okay, uh, this level is pretty much only called Don't Get Distracted, because now I'm actually mixing enemy types. Um, and so you'll see that I just had one of the knife guys, which I've called thugs, by the way, uh, when you if you look at my source code. They're called thugs. Um, but it also mixes it with the runners. Um, and so it's pretty much only called Don't Get Distracted, because while the runners are still there to get, uh, the guys with the knives are the ones you should actually be focusing on. Uh, there's a level that I'll show later that uh, kind of emphasizes this fact, but uh, yes, this is the uh, first level that I have mixed enemies on. 
Um, by the way, I'm just skipping this entire part because it's pretty much the same thing uh, over and over again. Okay, they have guns. I feel that's pretty self-explanatory. There's only two of them, unfortunately, but uh, the enemies now have guns. Uh, these guys are called the uh, cops, and they the way I made the AI is probably poor, but they basically find you, sit in one spot, and then they'll take a shot if you let them, which you just saw. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, they all fall down. You have a shotgun, and there's 40 enemies. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the only noise that I'm not like a super huge fan of is the death noise, because if you're firing into a crowd of people like that, you can hear it. It just goes off a little too much. Okay, so cops and robbers is just a level where you have the guys who are shooting you and the guys with uh, knives. And that, that's about it. Um, you have two enemies that can actually kill you, which is different than the previous level I had with multiple enemies. Um, so now everyone's pretty much a threat. I don't actually know how dangerous the uh, cop enemies are, since I only have them ever in like a handful at a time. But definitely the thugs are something to watch out for, because they pretty much... Well, you die in one hand at all times, so they're pretty much the worst enemy, in my opinion. Okay, uh, Streets of Detroit is pretty much like the previous one, although there's much more of uh, both enemy types. So, uh, yeah, here's a uh, fun little trick slash exploit that I uh, have in my game. Basically, whenever these thug guys are attacking you, if you go diagonally, you will go much faster than they do, because um, I didn't add in, like, moving a perfect circle whatever that thing is. Um, so yeah, basically you can outmaneuver them if you ever do diagonals. So I highly recommend that if anybody ends up playing my game. Uh, so this level is pretty much just uh, me messing around and deciding that once you get this new gun, which happens to be the uh, LMG, assault rifle, whatever, that I'll just throw in a ton of enemies, and uh, the level that was Don't Get Distracted, which I uh, mentioned earlier, or talked about earlier, um, this is a more advanced version of that. Um, yeah. It's really not a whole lot to do in this level other than just hold down mouse one, or LMB mouth, whatever. Anyway. It's not particularly exciting. I kind of wish I uh, focused a little more on some gameplay on this one instead of just throwing in a ton of enemies so you have to do the grind, but uh, it's alright. It takes quite a while to get through though, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward through all that. So yeah, this uh, goes on for a little bit, so I'll just give you a little music on this part. Now that that's all done with, um, here's another weapon that I implemented, which is a grenade. I uh, actually think the sound effect's pretty awesome. Again, all generated by the uh, BFXR.net. 
I just kept clicking explosion until I found out it sounded good, then messed with it a little bit. Uh, but it's pretty cool. If you click closer to you, it doesn't throw quite as far. And if you throw uh, or click farther away, it has a maximum speed. Um, and it'll go up to that. And it can do about, I think it was 20 damage. Um, so that's cool. Yeah, it's not really a whole lot to say about this one. You just keep chucking grenades at the runners who can't actually attack you back. I don't know if I implemented a level where you had the grenade against people who actually kill you. Probably should have. Uh, but yeah, that's just pretty much this level. And now I believe we get to the security guards in the game, which have shotguns, and I was told they look like beanbags, and uh, they kind of do. Um, <clears throat> again, you can shoot their bullets, and uh, it doesn't really look like it'll get hectic, but it ends up being a lot of bullets on the screen at one time, and uh, if you remember, one bullet kills you, so uh, yeah. It gets a little crazy, such as this. And, uh, yeah, I needed to fix that button. I probably should have checked a lot of things. The blackness is actually being drawn pretty much on top of everything other than the lighting, so that's why that looked like that. But, yeah, this level's fun. The great thing is that you can shoot their bullets, because otherwise you pretty much be out of luck. But, yeah, Just, uh, security guard guys are kind of cool. So, uh, here's a level that I thought would be a little interesting. Turns out it's actually pretty easy. Um, fighting the cops with a, just a knife. They only take, like, what, five hits, I think? S yep, so it's actually really easy to do this. Um, I didn't actually realize it would be at the time, but uh, I never actually playtested this level. So, uh, playtesting-wise, it's actually uh, pretty straightforward. And now we've gotten to the final level that I play test. Um, yep, laser guns. Uh, yeah, this is the last weapon that I uh, implemented into the game, and it looks pretty cool. Um, I like the traveling animation. Uh, my brother actually suggested it to me, instead of just being a solid beam, which is what I had originally. I think it looks a lot cooler, actually, being the uh, little bolts. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I was thinking of having it do a recharge thing, but then I realized that you could just sit there holding it forever, so, uh, because it would reload fast enough to get you one bullet, and that's kind of OP, so I had the, uh, clip reload because it didn't really work out the way I wanted. Anyway, yeah. So, uh, this is the end of my playtest, and, uh, yeah, it was a pretty fun game to make. Okay, so overall, I think the game went pretty well. Um, I did see a guy go through all the uh, GM48 games, and he mentioned some of the things that I uh, mentioned that I didn't really like about it. Um, yeah, overall, I'd say this game was pretty fun to make, and hopefully I uh, do pretty well in the ratings. If you'd like, I will leave a link to my game on the GM48 uh, website. Uh, and you guys can go check it out there, and it'll have the download and uh, even the source code and everything. So yeah, thanks for checking out my game, and I'll probably make another video eventually, so I guess I'll see you then.